on Tuesday, August 28, 2018 at 7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers. Tonight we'll have our invocation by Jimmy Wagner from the Crossroads Ministries. Please rise. Lord, we just come to you and we lift this meeting up to you as we always do, thanking you for the men, men and women in this room who lead us and guide us. And Lord, I pray that as they lead us, that you lead them by your spirit, giving them wisdom and strength to make the decisions that must be made. Have your way in this meeting and in this city. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And next on our agenda, we'll have our Pledge of Allegiance by Girl Scout Troop 71594. If you'll come forward to the podium, please. And you can pull the microphone down so you can talk into it. There you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all very much. You, be, you may be seated. Pardon? You may be seated. Thank you very much. That's our future leaders there. <laughs> And you all are welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting if you'd like. Okay, Ms. Kirby, we'll have roll call, please. Councilman DeGarris. Here. Councilwoman Horton. Here. Councilman Cornman. Here. Councilman Smith. Here. Councilman Black. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Here. And Mayor McVeigh. Here. We do have a quorum. Thank you, Ms. Kirby. Item five is disclosure of interest. Any member on the City Council may disclose any possible conflict of interest dealing with either any item on the printed agenda or any matter discussed at a previous meeting. Seeing none, at this time we'll have citizens input. Each person in the audience may take this opportunity to address the City Council on any matter which is not on the printed agenda. And we'll need your name and address for the record, please. And you might want to turn the microphone back up so that it'll pick up your voice. Thank you. Yes, hello. Um, Darlene Kelly and uh, 2618 Woodstone in Poplar Bluff. And uh, I suppose you've had a chance possibly to look over the info that uh, was passed around. Um, and um, that's pretty well explanatory on what's happening here. Um, cuts down on a lot of uh, verbal rhetoric. You'll have a 10 minutes time, but you right. might want to brief some of the others. We were also in our tax rate session, sure. and so they've not had time to read all of this material. Okay. So if you want to give us a quick time, and again, like I said, you have 10 minutes. Okay. Um, on, on the, well, the first page, I have number one on two pages there, as you'll notice. But on the map page, uh, my artistic abilities uh, leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> um, it's a challenge just to draw a straight line most of the time. So, but uh, I didn't uh, insert Angelia Street, which is to the north side of the apartments. Um, so I think most of you may be familiar with where this is. Uh, if you're not, just please ask and I'll try to explain. Um, but um, also on the second page, um, you will notice that Bradley St Street was paved back in, um, they have it dated here October 26th. Unfortunately, I happened to be out of town that day and didn't get back for a few days, but I have um, been told by a reliable source that the manhole cover was off uh, during the process of doing this job. And um, I've had four plumbers out to try and rot out the line, and this has been going on since October of last year. Um, and the only thing that um, they've been able to find is gravel and asphalt. Um, Fisk Plumbing is more qualified, and I've used them for years uh, on any plumbing issues. 
However, I've never <laughs> been faced with this uh, kind of uh, ordeal. And um, as you will notice on the um, last two pages, uh, we're looking at between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. That's a little bit to cough up for somebody who's poor <laughs> and uh, certainly not wealthy by any means. So, um, and I'm not here to put the blame on anyone, um, but if there was negligence involved um, and Fisk Plumbing, as you will read the letter from them, um, asphalt and gravel is the only thing they've been able to find. It has been rotted out, camera run down, uh, numerous times and coming up with the same problem. Um, I, I'm just asking for help uh, to resolve this issue. Um, so that's kind of where I am and why I'm here. Have um, you previously spoken with um, municipal utilities or I have. State I, I've spoken no. with Mark Massingham. Uh, Ed DeGarris, um, several people, um, Steve Davis, um, Doug Hendricks, uh, I've made And phone the result from those conversations? Not yet. I'm, I'm still waiting with lots of hope. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, so are they saying that this was a problem that the city caused in this in is our, what Ben Fisk and uh, I certainly uh, they they were out there at least well several times they have a dated year um, and that's all that's what they're finding and um, I don't know if it was through negligence uh, because if they had the manhole cover off and all they're finding is gravel and asphalt, then I don't know, you tell me. Are the sewers backing up into your apartments? Is that what's happening? It what, would if I didn't happening? have two clean outs. And, and I have it marked here on the map where those clean outs are. Um, so the lid was removed simply because if I hadn't removed the lid on the clean outs, uh, it would be backing up into the apartments. And that's not good. <laughs> so the clean out lid remains off? Well, yes. Otherwise, uh, yeah. And are your apartments in the city limits? The, the Bradley Street uh, apartment, which is right there facing Bradley, um, that's where I pay my city utilities. So, but are the the actual uh, properties in the city limits? They can be connected to city utilities and not right. be in city limits. The Have line you, is just right there in the so center of the road. So you're not annexed into the city. Your your property is not annexed into the city. Is that correct? This yes, the, they are not. Okay, that's that's what I was but trying to clarify. Bradley Street is I would consider city. Um, the line is just right there in the middle of the road county and city line in the middle of Bradley. Mr. Massingham, would you like to address this? Yes, I met with Ms. Kelly at uh, her place, I think, two different times. Yes. That's right. And I actually talked to Fisk Plumbing when I was out there one time. I've talked to utilities about it several times. I've talked to Mr. Bach and uh, Mr. Hendricks, the water sewer superintendent. Uh, they ran a camera down the line through all of our lines and they said they couldn't find anything and uh, I mean I can't I have to rely on what they tell me I'm, and that's what they've told me so you know I mean we can have them revisit it again and I'm just not sure what the problem is but they told me it was not in our line so I just don't understand how gravel and asphalt would get uh, into the lines Do you know, I was talking to the street superintendent a few weeks ago about mm -hmm. this, and uh, he seemed to think that AT&T had been out there doing work also on the edge of the road. Do you know if they have been or? That I was unaware okay. of. He was thinking maybe that might have caused part of the problem. Who too, had right? mentioned that? Who, who said that? A uh, street superintendent. <clears throat> Uh, 
Any comments or questions from the council? Well, we'll take the information that you provided. They'll revisit it. Uh, don't know what the results will be on that, but uh, you have got us uh, some good information here, and then we'll hand it to the parties that will take care of it, and they will get back in touch with you. Okay. Very okay? good. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other citizens in the audience that'd like to come forward for something that's not on the printed agenda? If not, we'll move on to item seven, the consent agenda. The items on the consent agenda are approved by a single action of the city council. If any member, council member would like to have an item removed from the consent agenda or consider it separately, he or she may request to do so. Motion to accept the printed agenda. Second. No motion? The uh, consent agenda, I'm sorry. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. And a second, a motion and a second to accept the consent agenda as presented. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item A, workshop items for discussion. Item A, the City Council will discuss the acceptance of a grant awarded to the City of Popper Bluff on behalf of the Rogers Theater. Mr. Massingham. I think Mr. Duncan is going to address this. That's what I was told. So. I'll be happy to do that. I, I figured you, you would be. be so. Thank you, Madam Mayor and City Council. It's a pleasure to be here with you this evening, especially tonight. Yes. Um, this is uh, the culmination of probably a 20-year dream that the Rogers Theater Incorporated has had. And uh, we're excited, as you, as you might imagine. Uh, just great news that we received uh, a week ago. Um, noting that um, the city's grant application to the Missouri Department of Economic Development was approved, funding approval, in the amount of $336,900 for restoration of the roof for the Rogers Theater. And as the council is aware, uh, this is a, a grant that had to be sponsored by a governmental body. The city council was kind enough to be our sponsor, and obviously we're extremely grateful to, to you for having the faith in us and to uh, to do that sponsorship and it's it's uh, as I said it's beyond words almost uh, that, that we were able to to get this funded and get this approval so it's it's really exciting news um, uh, I think it's only uh, proper that I thank uh, a few people who, who were involved in this also first of all um, I, I want to thank the Butler County Commission for their support they are actually the owners of the property and um, I want to thank Felicity Ray. Is, is Felicity here? Okay. Felicity Ray, who actually wrote the grant uh, from the uh, uh, Regional Planning Commission. I think that it also would be proper to thank our elected representatives who went to bat for us, uh, Todd Richardson, Doug Leibla, and uh, Steve Cookson. They were all very supportive of this, and, and, and they, uh, they made a point to speak to people whenever they could. Um, there's another person who happens to be in the audience tonight who I think was, was really instrumental in getting this done for us. Um, you know, it's, it's always good to have a lobbyist, and uh, we had a lobbyist in Jefferson City. That was Bill Foster. Uh, Bill, would you stand up? Uh, Bill is, is living in Jefferson City now, and, he, and of course he's a former state senator, and he's now working up there. And I talked to Bill just kind of in passing about this uh, about a year ago, and Bill said, well, let me see what I can do. And uh, I don't know what all he did, but I think if there was a squeaky wheel to be greased, Bill greased it. <laughs> and so we're very appreciative to him. I'd also like to recognize the board members, uh, members of the Rogers Theater Board. Uh, would you guys, the ladies, stand up, please? I think we've got just about everybody here but one. And, and our recently departed board member, who's now the manager of the Rogers Theater, Brent Davis, we need to recognize him too. Um, as far as the particulars of what goes on from here, uh, Felicity would probably be the one to address those, or Matt Winters, I'm sure, also knows about it. But it is a matching grant. Uh, we are responsible for $45,400 of this, and um, we think we can handle that. Uh, we feel like we can. Um, it's still a long ways to go, uh, as, as most of you are aware. This is only the beginning of this project, and we won't see the fruition for quite some time, I'm sure. But um, 
having this uh, is, is something that we hope will not only revitalize the Rogers Theater, but maybe be a first step in revitalizing downtown Popper Bluff. And that's all, always something that we all want to see done. So again, um, we are most appreciative to the council. And uh, again, I think the council is aware there's no financial uh, responsibility on the part of the city. It was strictly a uh, ministerial thing to get this uh, done. And so again, we're extremely appreciative uh, for all that you did for us. And uh, we hope to uh, get this project going and up and running in a very short time. And I don't know that I can answer any questions, but if, if anyone has one, I'll try. All right, are there any questions from the council? Well, our Rogers Theater is a hidden jewel that we are so glad that you have polished and worked so hard on and the board and the citizens of Popper Bluff and the county of Popper Bluff. Uh, we are just very blessed to have this and the good citizens that have come forward to hold it together and hopefully we'll someday see it in, its, in all of its glory again. Yes, that's right? what we're looking forward to. Thank you. Right, thank you. With that, I'll entertain a motion and second to move item A to the voting session to be held tonight. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item B, the City Council will discuss amending an ordinance, number 7782, relative to the vacation of right-of-way on Shelby Road. Mr. Massingham? Yes, several months ago we passed an ordinance uh, vacating this property. Uh, found out later that it actually still belonged to the TDD, so the TDD had to transfer that property to the city. So now we need to redo the, or amend this ordinance and vacate the property. It's to uh, it's for Mr. Nicholson, the development he's doing along Shelby Road there, and it's just little slivers of property along the uh, road. Are there any questions from the council? So this is just a, basically a housekeeping item, and uh, it, the way he's going to set his new prop, new buildings will make it more pleasing to the eye to have it squared up, and that's why they're doing this. Um, at, with this time, I would entertain a motion and second to move item B to the voting session to be held on September the 12th. So moved. Second. First and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item C, the City Council will review a proposed ordinance granting a right-of-way easement from the City of Popper Bluff to Ozark Border Electric Co Cooperative for the Municipal Golf Course. Mr. Massingham? Yes, they're going to be running uh, electric to some of the greens on the golf course, and they had to work with Ozark Border because we both serve portions of the golf course uh, in order to get this done. Are there any questions from the Council? If not, I'll entertain a motion and second to move th this to the voting session to be held tonight. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to our action required items. AA, Bill number 8093. The City Council will take action on an ordinance authorizing the disposal of antiquated, obsolete, or surplus property. Move for first reading of Bill number 8093. Second. Motion and second for first reading bill number 8093. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance authorizing the disposal of antiquated, obsolete, or surplus property. Motion for second reading. Second. Motion and second for second reading bill number 8093. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance authorizing the disposal of antiquated, obsolete, or surplus property. Motion for adoption of eight zero nine three. Second. Motion is second for adoption of Bill number eight zero nine three. Is there any discussion? Roll call, Ms. Kirby. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. We have seven yes votes. Bill number 8093 has been adopted. Item BB, Bill number 8094, the City Council will take action on an ordinance granting a conditional use permit to install a manufacturer home at 417 South D Street. Motion for first reading of Bill 8094. Second. Motion and second for first reading of Bill number 8094. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance granting a conditional use permit to install a manufactured home at 417 South D Street in Poplar Bluff. 
Motion for second reading of bill number 8094. Second. Motion and second for second reading of bill number 8094. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance granting a conditional use permit to install a manufactured home at 417 South D Street in Poplar Bluff. Motion for adoption of bill 8094. Second. We have a motion and second for adoption of bill number 8094. Is there any discussion? Roll call, Ms. Kirby. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. We have seven yes votes. Bill number 8094 has been adopted. Item CC, bill number 8095. The City Council will take action on an ordinance providing for the levy and collection of property taxes for the year beginning January 1, 2018 and ending on December 31, 2018 for the purposes of general revenue, police and fire pension to be levied and collected as to all property in the city of Popper Bluff, Missouri, both personal and real, except household goods located in private homes. Motion for first reading of 8095. Second. Motion is second for first reading of bill number 8095. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance of the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, providing for the levy and collection of property taxes for the year beginning January 1st, 2018 and ending on December 31st, 2018 for the following purposes. Number one, general revenue. Number two, policemen and Fireman's Pension Fund to be levied and collected as to all property in the City of Pop Bluff, Missouri, both real and personal, except household goods located in private homes. Motion for second reading of Bill 8095. Second. Motion is second for second reading of Bill number 8095. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance of the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, providing for the levy and collection of property taxes for the year beginning January 1st, 2018, and ending on December 31st, 2018, for the following purposes. Number one, general revenue. Number two, policemen and firemen's pension fund. To be levied and collected as to all property in the City of Poplar Bluff, Missouri, both real and personal, except household goods, located in private homes. Motion for adoption of 8096. Um, nine five. Nine five. Okay. I'm off one digit tonight. <laughs> second. Motion is second for adoption of bill number 8095. Is there any discussion? Roll call Ms. Kirby. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. We have seven yes votes. Bill number 8095 has been adopted. Item DD, Bill number 8096. The City Council will take action on ordinance accepting and approving a community development block grant agreement for the Rogers Theater project. Move for first reading of Bill number 8096. Second. second. Motion is second for first reading of Bill number 8096. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? Just wondering if you'd like to have former city attorney Wallace Duncan read this one to you, or would you like me to read it? Yeah. Be wonderful. Item DD, an ordinance accepting and approving a community development block grant agreement for the Rogers Theater Project. Motion for second reading. Second. Motion. That and second for second reading of bill number 8096. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance accepting and approving a community development block grant agreement for the Rogers Theater project. Motion for adoption of 8096. Second. Motion and second for adoption at 8096. Is there any discussion? Good to see that our former city attorney put good use to his time since he's been gone. <laughs> Roll call, Ms. Kirby. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. 
Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. We have seven yes votes. Bill number 8096 has been adopted. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you again. Item EE, -E, Bill number 8097. The City Council will take action on ordinance granting an easement to Ozark Border Electric Co Cooperative for underground electric service at the Popper Bluff Municipal Golf Course. Motion for first reading of Bill 8097. Second. Motion is second for reading of Bill number 8097. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance granting an easement to Ozark Border Electric Cooperative for underground electrical service at the Poplar Bluff Municipal Golf Course in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Motion for second reading of 8097. Second. Motion is second for second reading of Bill number 8097. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Richardson? An ordinance granting a, an easement to Ozark Border Electric Cooperative for underground electric service at the Popper Bluff Municipal Golf Course in the city of Popper Bluff. Motion for adoption of 8097. Second. Motion and second for adoption of 8097. Is there any discussion? Roll call, Ms. Kirby. Councilman Black. Yes. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. And we have seven yes votes. Bill number 8097 has been adopted. Item FF, the City Council of the City of Popper Bluff will meet in a closed meeting in which they will discuss such matters which are exempted under the Open Meeting Law, Section 610.021.1.2.3.9.11.12.13 and .14 RSMO. Motion move in closed session following the City Manager's report. Second. Motion and second to move into closed uh, session after the City Manager's report. Roll call, Ms. Kirby. Councilman DeGarris. Yes. Councilwoman Horton. Yes. Councilman Cornman. Yes. Councilman Smith. Yes. Councilman Black. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Davis. Yes. And Mayor McVeigh. Yes. We have seven yes votes. Thank you. We'll move into our closed session after the city manager report. And we want to thank you for the air conditioning today. It is nice to be in a nice clean facility <laughs> with air conditioning. I wanted to point out that uh, Mr. Foster in the audience is a former council member, a former mayor, and a former state senator. So uh, thank you for your service, Mr. Foster. Um, just wanted to talk about Shelby Road a little bit. Uh, uh, city planner Matt uh, Winters and I and the engineers met with the Department of Natural Resources last week, and they went through uh, the land disturbance uh, process, and they said they were doing a really great job out there, and we appreciate that. And uh, also, I talked to the contractors. They will start putting uh, the base rock down very soon and hopefully start pouring concrete probably the middle of September. I don't know how long it will take to pour all that concrete, but uh, uh, it will get started in the middle of September. So They actually, with the rain, they went 10 days and I think only worked three or four days because of the rain with mm -hmm. what they were doing. But uh, it's coming along really good. So. And the big rock they had to invest. Right, that took several weeks. And uh, if you drive up PP Highway now, you'll see they're laying the uh, seating on the big hillsides, and looks totally different now. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, that's all I have to report. So, I would also like to remind the folks that uh, September we are required to have at least one meeting per month by state statute, and we normally have two. But um, Missouri Municipal League will be having their annual conference in Branson this year, and several of the council members will be attending that. Also, with the way the holiday falls, it will be September the 12th will be our regular scheduled meeting in September, and it will be the only meeting in September. So it will be here in the council chambers September the 12th at 7 p.m. We will give other notices, but when it's unusual like that, I want to give you plenty of notice that we will be having just the one meeting. Is there anything else to come before the council tonight before we adjourn? Motion adjourned. Second. All those in favor? Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you.